wake in the morning and I step outside and I take a deep breath and I get real high and I scream from the top of my lungs, what's going on? And I say, hey, yeah, 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 hey, yeah, yeah, I said, hey, what's going on? How you doing? Justin here. In this lesson today, we're checking up What's Up, a song written by Linda Perry, sung by the Four Non Blondes. Uh, fantastic, very, very cool little tune, this one. Quite simple as well. The original one is played using an A chord, a B minor chord, and a D chord, but because in this beginner's course we don't play a B minor chord, we can change it up and have exactly the same play along with the record effect by putting a capo on the second fret and playing G, A minor, C, and back to G again. So it's a pretty simple chord progression. So, and it's the same sequence throughout. The interesting thing, and I think the best thing about learning this tune is the strumming pattern, because it's got a really interesting strumming pattern. It's a little bit tricky to sing and play at the same time. You might find yourself losing the strumming pattern a bit if you're singing, at least I do. And that's okay, it's kind of normal, you know, I wouldn't worry about that. It'll just take extra practice on playing that particular pattern and singing this particular song. So uh, let's go through the chord sequence first of all. So we've got capo, second fret. We've got a whole bar of G whole bar of A minor, a whole bar of C, and then another whole bar of G. And that's it. One more time through the chord sequence, just for those of you who didn't catch it the first time, that's G for a bar, A minor for a bar, C for a bar, and then back to G for a bar. So if we start on this, we go, G can laugh and my laugh is still. A minor ring up that great big hill of C for a Dexter G chord. And a G chord quickly when I knew I should that this A minor was made up of this brotherhood of C for whatever that G. And a G sometimes when I'm lying in bed Just to A minor it out what's in my head And I see feeling a little G chord And so a G in the morning when I step outside And I A minor a deep breath and I get real high And I see from the top of my lungs what's going G And I say G, 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 A minor, A minor, A minor, I said C, what's going G, and I said G, 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 A minor, A minor, A minor, I said C, what's going G. That's the whole tune. Um, let's look at the strumming pattern now because that's the, kind of the interesting part. So the actual strumming pattern is a two bar little sequence there. And it's uh, this. Uh, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, four, and one and two and three and four and let me go through that now really slowly for you so it's I'm just staying on the G chord one two and three four and one and two and three and four and down down up down down up down up down up up down up actually a pretty simple pattern if you write it down and that's what I'd really recommend you do with this kind of strumming pattern is write down the strum you know the whole pattern write one and two and three and four and twice in this case because it's two bar sequence then write your ups and downs and remember that a down strum is always going to be on beats one two three and four and up strokes are only going to be on the ends so do that and then write down again one more time down down up down down up down up down up up down up one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Now, 
Because this is kind of the most tricky bit, I guess, about this, we're going to play this strumming pattern through a few times now together. So three, four, one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. So just doing what we were just doing then, practicing it in a little loop, practice that pattern just on the one chord first. When you've got a new strumming pattern that's a bit different or you're struggling with, just play the one chord and you've got to do it over and over again. It's got to come kind of natural because if you're thinking about the chord changes and the strumming and the words, ain't going to happen, which is why often the strumming pattern goes wrong when people try and sing. So you can't think of all of those things at the same time. So you've got to really just practice the strumming pattern over and over and over again until it feels real natural. Make sure you've got the chord sequence down, which in this song the chord sequence is pretty simple to remember, so you shouldn't have too much hassle with that, and hopefully if you've got those two things automated you might have a go at the vocal. I stayed in with the capo on the second fret, so as not to confuse you guys, but it's definitely not my key. Probably most guys, if you're going to sing this song, you probably want to move the capo up around the fifth fret, or you know, maybe a little, even a little higher, but you know, that amount just to get it in range, because otherwise it is uh, either super duper high or, or, or a little bit too low. So. Uh, Hope you have a lot of fun playing that song and I'll see you for another lesson or tune or something very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.